In the vast context of the universe, our space exploration is relatively recent, but we have already acquired vast knowledge about the solar system by sending probes to planets, asteroids, and comets. We have revealed their characteristics, compositions, temperatures, atmospheres, and much more. However, what is even more fascinating is what remains unknown. The truth is that there are many questions we still don't understand about our corner of the universe. Now, let's delve into the unresolved mysteries of the solar system. Number 1. What drives the sun's magnetism? Magnetic fields are generated by the movement of charged particles everywhere. For example, on Earth, a flow of charged particles in the outer core of the planet creates the magnetic field that guides compasses to the north and shields us from dangerous solar radiation. The Sun also possesses a magnetic field, which is not surprising as it is composed of plasma, a gas in which electrons and ions separate and move freely, creating an environment conducive to a magnetic field. However, we still do not fully understand how this phenomenon occurs, or where the solar magnetic field originates. Does it arise near the surface or deep within the sun? How do the different layers of the sun interact with each other? Unraveling these secrets is crucial for understanding everything from solar flares to the northern lights. Furthermore, understanding solar magnetism can assist us in predicting the magnetic fields of other stars. Above all, Comprehending the secrets of the sun's magnetism will enable us to understand why our star is so changeable. The sun follows an 11-year cycle in which it reaches peak brightness, experiences more solar flares and sunspots, known as the solar maximum. Interestingly, the sun's magnetic field undergoes significant changes during this cycle. As it approaches solar maximum, the field lines become increasingly chaotic, and then a series of events called coronal mass ejections reorganize them. To the best of our knowledge, the field lines start extending directly from one pole to the other, much like on Earth. However, due to the sun's rotation, they twist around it, resembling cotton candy. Eventually, these stretched field lines snap, much like an overextended rubber band, causing eruptions and restoring the field to its original shape. However, all of this is based on observations made on the sun's surface. What we still don't understand is how these phenomena are created by activities beneath its surface. Forces between the sun's outer layers, which are in constant motion, such as convection currents in boiling water, may play a significant role, or it might be more related to the movement of the convection currents themselves. We have much to discover before we understand exactly where the solar magnetic field originates. To find answers, we will need to delve deeper into our research. Number 2. Why is Venus so different from Earth? Now, shifting our perspective to a location farther from the Sun, we encounter the turbulent planet Venus. Venus has always been intriguing. It was once called the twin of Earth, because it's roughly the same size and located within the sun's habitable zone, where liquid water could exist. However, the reality is a bit different. Venus resembles more of an evil twin of Earth. It's a planet of relentless storms, with winds that can reach up to 186 miles per hour, and it has an out-of-control greenhouse effect resulting in an average temperature of 462 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt lead. But why is Venus so different from Earth? What triggered this intense greenhouse effect? We know what's causing the greenhouse effect on Earth currently. Venus's atmosphere is composed of 95% carbon dioxide. This gas is extremely potent as a greenhouse gas, the same one playing a central role in climate change on our planet. Considering Earth's atmosphere contains only 0.036% CO2, you can understand why 95% would be a problem. The question is why Venus has such a high amount of CO2. Scientists believe that, at one point, Venus was Earth-like, with liquid water and not so much CO2. However, at some point, the planet became so hot that the water evaporated, and since water vapor is also a potent greenhouse gas, this further aggravated the warming. Eventually, the carbon that was locked in rocks was released, filling the atmosphere with CO2. 
The unanswered question is what initiated the warming process in the first place. Was it due to an initial excess of CO2 on the planet? Is Venus a bit closer to the Sun than ideal? Or could it have resulted from some catastrophic event? These are mere speculations. Despite the numerous questions we have about Venus, we have sent only three missions to the planet so far. This means there's still much to explore. In future missions, we may study its atmosphere to better understand climate patterns and discover the chemical reactions occurring in its layers. We may also search for hotspots indicating volcanic activity and even traces of past life. Number 3, Uranus, the Stormy Planet. Now, let's venture into the farthest reaches of the solar system and talk about a stormy place, Uranus. While a storm can be uncomfortable when it catches us off guard, it pales in comparison to the storms found in other corners of our solar system. For a long time, Uranus wasn't known for its extreme storms. However, in 2014, astronomers were surprised to discover massive clusters of methane storms sweeping across the planet. Previously, storms on other planets were believed to be formed by energy from the Sun. However, solar energy simply isn't strong enough on a planet as distant as Uranus. Furthermore, as far as we know, there is no other energy source capable of driving such intense storms. The only thing scientists have with a degree of confidence is that storms on Uranus originate in its lower atmosphere, unlike sun-driven storms that occur at higher altitudes. However, the true cause of storms on Uranus remains a mystery. It's possible that our assumptions about what happens inside the planet are completely wrong. Uranus's atmosphere may be much more dynamic than it appears, generating heat that fuels these storms. Additionally, Uranus's internal temperature could be much higher than we imagine. One possibility is that there's an atmospheric layer trapping heat within the planet, making the upper atmosphere cooler, masking the true internal temperature. Perhaps the secret lies in the complex interaction between different parts of the atmosphere. For now, however, we can't say for sure. In any case, these storms show us that Uranus holds fascinating secrets beyond the exterior appearance we're familiar with. Number 4, the Kuiper Belt abruptly ends. Now, let's go beyond the planets we're familiar with and enter the Kuiper Belt. This belt consists of a disk of frozen water, methane, and ammonia fragments. It extends from the orbit of Neptune at about 30 astronomical units from the Sun to roughly 50 Australian dollars from the Sun. However, there's something intriguing about the Kuiper Belt. It simply ends when we reach 50 Australian dollars. The belt comes to an abrupt stop, which astronomers call the Kuiper Cliff. This feature is challenging to explain, but we have some ideas. Perhaps the belt continues beyond this point, but the objects become so small that we can't detect them. However, this idea doesn't align with what we know about the formation of the solar system. Given the complex orbital interactions of the outer planets, we would expect objects to increase in size at this distance. A more intriguing hypothesis is that these objects have been pushed away by the gravitational attraction of an, as of yet, undiscovered planet. This planet, possibly the ninth in our solar system, could be comparable in size to Earth or Mars. Unfortunately, it's challenging to observe anything so distant, which may require more time before we obtain an answer. Number 5, the Oort Cloud is real. While the Kuiper Belt is located at a great distance, there's an even more remote region in the solar system, the Oort Cloud. While many envision the solar system as a flat disk, astronomers have long theorized that it may have a spherical layer around it. This layer, known as the Oort Cloud, is supposedly composed of frozen rocks like water, methane, ethane, carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide, and other nasty substances, extending up to two light years from the Sun. But why do we believe this layer exists? Well, from time to time, we spot long-period comets, comets with orbits that take more than 100 years, and by tracking their trajectories, they seem to come from very distant sources in all directions. Our mathematical models of the formation of the solar system suggest that this cloud should also be present as the early solar system's chaos settled into what we know today. 
It would be expected that small icy objects were flung out by the gravitational influence of Jupiter and the other gas giants. However, even though it's logical, this cloud has never been observed due to its distance and the low amount of light it receives. We simply don't have the technology needed to visualize it. This means that for now, we can't prove its existence or determine its size. As these mysteries illustrate, we don't need to go far to find fascinating enigmas in the celestial surroundings of our solar system. In fact, these five mysteries are just the beginning. Despite the impressive advances we've made in understanding the cosmos, there's still much we don't know. Each mystery, each unsolved puzzle, is an invitation to explore the unknown, to unravel the secrets of a vast and intriguing universe. Modern science has been more dedicated than ever to solving these mysteries, and each revealed answer paints a richer picture of cosmic complexity. As we contemplate the universe, we're enveloped by a sense of wonder and humility. We're a pale blue dot floating in the vastness of space, a single spark of consciousness among countless stars and galaxies. And yet, this insignificance in the face of immensity doesn't diminish our uniqueness. We're born on a planet that's an extraordinary refuge for life, our home, Earth. Each one of us, regardless of our size in the universe, has the capacity to explore, learn, and contribute to our collective understanding. When we look at the stars, we're inspired to embrace our innate curiosity and celebrate the human spirit of discovery. The journey to understand our place in the cosmos is as infinite as the universe itself. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have anything to add, please share it with us in the comment section. Sharing the video and the knowledge you've gained with your family and friends is a great way to promote understanding and discussion about these stories. If you enjoyed our content, please like and share it. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our social media platforms, the links to which are in the description below. And remember, disregarding the existence of the Oort cloud due to lack of direct evidence would be repeating past mistakes by ignoring the importance of exploring beyond what's visible.